Hey everyone, welcome to Aftershoot Academy. Today, we're covering instant AI profiles. This is a brand new way of creating custom AI profiles to match your editing style. This means you don't need to upload a training data set, but instead can connect a preset, choose a few settings, and dive right into editing. From here, you're gonna go ahead and click on new profile, and now you're gonna be presented with the option to create an instant AI profile or your professional AI profile. The professional AI profile is the one where you're gonna upload all of your images from your Lightroom catalogs for it to learn your style, but we're gonna do it the simple way. We're gonna build our instant AI profile. First thing we have to do is choose the preset we wanna build this profile on. It's automatically gonna load the presets that are available in Lightroom for you. So we simply need to just click the preset we wanna to use to build our profile. Once I've found the preset I wanna build the profile off of, I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. And the first thing it's gonna do is start asking my exposure preferences. I'll be presented with three images and I have to determine if I want the exposure to be brighter or darker based on the slider. I can simply click down to make it darker, or I can go up to make it brighter, and this will help determine what the final exposure preferences for my profile will be. In our case, we're gonna go with a slightly darker look for this preset. We'll do it on the next image as well, and we're gonna go down a little bit further because this is a brighter image. And then on this last image, we're gonna go down just one step because we just want it to be slightly underexposed for this look. The next part of the survey is gonna ask me about the temperature. Do I prefer a warmer white balance or a cooler white balance? For this style, we're gonna use a warmer white balance. By going to the right, we can make it warmer and warmer. By going to the left, we can cool it down. So we'll find that happy medium ground for us. We're gonna make this a warm profile. We want it to feel like summertime. And I'll do it on all three images. And now I'm left with the next decision, and that is my tint preferences. Which way do I want the tint to go for this profile? We're gonna go ahead and make this a greener profile because we want it to kind of have that ethereal film look. So we're gonna white balance everything more green. And now we just click on generate profile. It's gonna take about five minutes for it to create a profile for us, and then we can dive right into editing. And within just a few seconds, it actually completed, and all I have to do is name it. It's gonna tell me what the preset I used was. We're gonna call it warm and green. And now we have that custom instant profile ready to go. All I have to do now is choose some files to edit, run the editing, and review my final results. Now that my profile's been named, created, and customized, all I have to do is go in and edit the files. To do so, I just have to scroll down to the instant profiles category, and we're gonna click on the profile we wanna run, and then we're gonna choose the files we wanna edit. In this case, we'll just edit the flagged images. We'll click on edit and it'll run through, and in just a few seconds, I'll be able to actually see the edits inside of Aftershoot that our brand new instant profile created. Now that the edits are complete and displayed in Aftershoot, I can decide if I wanna make any tweaks to this profile. Once my edit's complete, if I decide I wanna do anything different with that profile, I can go ahead and use the adjust profile ability on the post edit screen to tweak things further such as white balance, exposure, contrast, or any of the adjustments that are made by the preset. This allows me to make my instant profile even a little bit more customized and fit my needs a little bit better. Now, while you're trialing Aftershoot, you get three instant profiles available to you so you can make three different looks within Aftershoot. And if you're on the max plan, you can get a total of five instant profiles available to you. So you can go ahead and create different looks play with different styles, all using Aftershoot's Instant Profile feature. And there you have it, Aftershoot's Instant Profiles. Simply uploading a preset in a matter of moments, having an amazing profile that edits just like you in any style you want. So go try them out, play around, try some new styles, and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, reach out to support.